to COVID-19 for a moment and somebody we need to talk about, the standout athlete, the mentor and coach who lost his battle to this terrible virus. Here's Keith Russell on the legacy of Orlando McDaniel. On the morning you find out your father has passed away due to coronavirus, having the strength to talk about the way he lived as opposed to the way he died is something we all can learn from. I mean, I was heartbroken. I lost my best friend. He was my right hand man. There's nothing else to say. It's no words when you just lose somebody that means so much to you. How can you describe not being able to, to see him once he went into the hospital, not being able to see him again? Um, it was sad just knowing that I can't get a hug from him anymore, you know, any like love, fatherly love, any father-daughter time. But I mean, we did FaceTime him and we did hear his voice before he passed. Orlando McDaniel was a voice not just to his daughter Alexis and wife Mariva in DeSoto. He was an inspiration to many in DFW as the founder of the North Texas Cheetahs track program in 2003. His passion for mentoring young women is a legacy that will live on long beyond his two-sport career at LSU and his days as a Denver Broncos wide receiver. Those girls are something special. They're amazing. They're amazing. Some have gone to the Olympics, professional teams. Like, he really pushed them to be the best they can be. How do you imagine that you and your family move on from this? We just have to continue to pray and continue to live his legacy out, continue to be great people, continue to pray, continue to have the mindset that my father had to keep going. That's what we have to do. For now, the McDaniels remain quarantined in a home they shared with a man who shared so much with the world. Orlando McDaniel, currently the face of tragedy when it comes to the sports world dealing with COVID-19. But they'll remember him as much more than that. He's always been a legend to me. Like, you know, the term GOAT, greatest of all time. That's how I see my father. And he's a man well respected all across North Texas and missed by so many tonight. Our thanks to the family and to our Keith Russell for that story.